This is the Drag Force Lab for AP Physics C. The purpose of this lab is to take real world data from a falling object with notable air resistance and create a Python computer model to reliably plot and visualize the data. The major lab components consist of a video camera to record the real world motion, a tracker to extract data from the recorded video, vPython to model the motion, and Microsoft Excel to plot the different motion graphs found through different methods. I used a 6.25 gram stack of coffee filters which travel a total of 2.267 meters in 1.46 seconds which can be seen in Tracker. This creates a graph of the position versus the time. The fall time can be found here at 1.467 seconds and seen in Python here is 1.467 seconds. The weight is also included at 0 .00625 kilograms. To get an accurate model, I had to include the drag force, which is equal to negative bv, where b is a constant drag coefficient and v is velocity. To find b, I had to alter the drag coefficient until Python came up with the total distance, which was close enough to the actual distance. Here is the program running. There's the drag, there's the mass times gravity. And here is the final velocity, and here is the final position, 2.266, and just like in Tracker, the rear wheel uh, motion, 2.266, 2.267. To show how important B, the drag coefficient, is, I've made a code without it, which has a very different result. There's no drag, there's only mass times gravity, and this gives us a final position much greater than should be expected. As you can see, the data from Python with drag is nearly the same as the raw tracker data, and the data from the Python code without drag is nowhere near the original data seen here in green triangles. Both the raw data and vPython model without drag predict a terminal velocity. The graphs soon become linear, and since the graphs become linear, the slopes, meaning the derivatives, which are velocity, become constant. This shows that the object has reached terminal velocity and is no longer accelerating. However, the vPython model without drag does not reach terminal velocity as it has no forces opposing its fall. What if the object was initially thrown downward? Would the terminal velocity in this case be the same or different from the case where the same object was initially dropped from rest? The terminal velocity would be the same in both, as the formula to obtain the terminal velocity, mg equals bv, does not take the initial velocity into account. To show this in Python, I'll increase the time and give the object a larger initial velocity. So the time to 5.467 seconds, then the initial velocity to, let's say, negative 5. After the program is run, we'll see that we still have the same final velocity as we had before we changed the initial velocity, showing that the initial velocity has no impact on the terminal velocity. In conclusion, my vPython model ended up being an accurate predictor of velocity when the drag coefficient was included, allowing the data from the Python model to line up nearly exact with the raw data, especially when juxtaposed against the Python model, where drag is not considered, which I will show again.